Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, June 30th, 2017. It's currently 6.30 a.m. And we're setting up for a wonderful holiday weekend. A bit tropical. You're going to have your showers and thunderstorms here and there. But overall, not bad for 4th of July. And it looks like that the 4th of July weekend is going to basically feature tropical-like air mass with temperatures basically in the 80s, a few lower 90s mixed in, especially in the Delaware River Valley and uh, generally humid weather conditions, but pretty much what you would expect for early July. This morning we have temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the region with a southwesterly wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour. We do have some showers over Pennsylvania that may intensify into some thunderstorms over portions of the Delaware River Gap as we head towards later on this morning. Taking a look at the radar again, you can see some of those widely scattered showers. We have more showers and thunderstorms off to our west with a very slow moving cold front that won't be reaching our region anytime soon, at least not for the next three days. But we'll continue to see these troughs that are going to try to move through. And that's what's going to lead to the potential for those isolated to widely scattered thunderstorms today, tomorrow, and for Sunday. So here we are in the infrared satellite picture. Our warm front is well to our north, our high pressure systems over the western Atlantic, and that's going to lead to a southerly wind over the region. And that is transporting a tropical air mass from the Gulf of Mexico right up into the northern Atlantic. This cold front will slowly inch to the east. And through this weekend, through Sunday, we'll have this cold front slowly approaching. And for the most part, as a result, most of our showers and thunderstorms focus toward the west of the forecast area over central Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania, and western New York. But we'll continue to have these weak troughs under this warm front continuously lingering over the region and leading to the potential for these widely scattered isolated showers and thunderstorms and some of these thunderstorms can be severe and basically what we're looking for with these thunderstorms is intense downpours tropical like downpours which could lead to localized flash flooding so definitely be on guard for that also frequent lightning wind gusts over 60 miles per hour and also some small hail the primary threats with these thunderstorms will be the heavy downpours and the wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. But again, the key word here is isolated. So if you have outdoor plans, basically plan for a backup. Just be prepared, but don't cancel them. Just keep an eye to the sky and keep an eye on NY and JPA weather for the latest. So here we are in our forecast for this afternoon. Again, a mix of sun and clouds, a bit of a hazy sun out there. Watch out for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. Again, a few of these thunderstorms could be severe. Temperatures will rise into the upper 70s to lower 80s on Long Island, lower to mid 80s along the coast, and mid to upper 80s, possibly even a few lower 90s mixed in in the Delaware River Valley. For this evening, look for scattered cloud cover again, a few lingering showers and thunderstorms. Then look for fog as we head towards tomorrow morning. Temperatures tomorrow morning will be muggy with lows in the lower to mid 70s for tomorrow afternoon again a threat for isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms these thunderstorms will have the potential to reach severe levels temperatures will rise into the upper 70s to lower 80s on Long Island lower to mid 80s along the coast and mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley for Sunday a cold front well a very weak cold front it's really still just a trough is going to move through the region. Not much in the way of air mass change, though. Uh, there will be a threat for a few isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms, but most of the region can expect dry conditions. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s for lows and lower to mid 80s along the coast and mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. I can't rule out a few 90 degree temperatures popping up, especially in the Philadelphia metro. On Monday, we continue to see a series of weak troughs and cold fronts move through the region. Not much in the way of an air mass change on Monday, but definitely keep an eye out there for a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Otherwise, look for a mix of sun and clouds, hazy conditions, humid conditions. Temperatures range from the upper 60s for lows, lower to mid 80s on the coast, and mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Tuesday, a stronger cold front moves through with scattered showers and thunderstorms in the morning, followed by clearing skies just in time for the evening for 4th of July. I do think if you have some plans to go check out the fireworks, you should be fine in the evening hours. Look for lows in the upper 60s, highs in the lower to mid 80s along the coast, and mid to upper 80s 
in the Delaware River Valley. On Wednesday, high pressure will build south with sky cloud cover expected. Look for much cooler weather conditions. Lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Thursday, a frontal boundary will linger over the region with a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Look for lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. And on Friday, another cold front will move through in the morning hours with a few lingering showers followed by clearing skies in the afternoon, lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there and have a happy 4th of July.